What's up, people? Welcome back to the Dirt Bike Shed. Today we're going to do some more physics. Today we're going to be rolling things downhill. It's going to be very simple. So let's follow Romeo out here. And we're going to get this thing started. Let's take a look at this ramp. It's not on a very steep incline, is it? How about now? How about now? How about now? Hmm. You know what? I bet we can look at this ramp and start making some guesses. If I tried to roll a ball from left to right across the screen, what do you think the acceleration of the ball would be on this ramp? I'm thinking it would be zero. Now let me ask you a question. What's the angle of this ramp? Yep, the answer to that question is zero. Now, what if I tried to roll a ball down this ramp? What do you think the acceleration would be? I'm thinking it's going to be 9.8 meters per second per second. So when we think of the ramp like this, we know the acceleration is zero. And we also know the angle of that ramp is zero. And when we think of the ramp like this, we know the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second per second. And we know the angle of this ramp is 90 degrees. So when we see a ramp like this and we ignore friction, how could we make a good guess as to what the acceleration down the ramp would be. I'll tell you how we can make a good guess. We can use the sine of the angle down here, the sine of this angle times 9.8 meters per second. Think about this. The sine of zero is going to give you error or zero, right? So the sine of zero times 9.8 meters per second, it's going to give you zero. This ball is not going to move in this direction at all when I let go of it, right? Nothing. Now, what if I take the ramp and I change it like this? Now the angle of this ramp is 90 degrees. The sine of 90 is 1. 1 times 9.8 is 9.8 meters per second per second. So let's take this ramp right here. And we'll know that the acceleration of this ball, if we forget about friction, the acceleration of this ball down the ramp is going to be the sine of this angle times 9.8. Let's figure out the angle of this ramp. I know a great way to figure that angle out. I'm going to use some trigonometry. The base of the ramp hits right here. So I'm going to mark a distance from the base of the ramp to here. So this distance is one meter. So we're now going to draw a triangle that looks like this. So the bottom of the triangle, or the adjacent side to this angle, is 1. And now the opposite side is going to be, I'm going to measure to the bottom of the ramp, because I was measuring to the bottom of the ramp over there. This is a 19, or 0.19. So if we draw a triangle, and the bottom of the triangle, or the adjacent side, is 1. And the opposite side, or the side that's on the normal, is 0.19. We can use some trig to calculate this angle. What trig function would we have opposite and adjacent? Tangent. You're exactly right. Let's go inside and draw it real quick.
So we're drawing. Let me get the straight line tool here. All right, here's the bottom, right? And then here, this looks like a pretty good ratio. So this side is 0.19 meters, and this side is one meter. Let me make this nine look better. Let me make this look better, ready? 0.19 meters. And then the ramp, waiting on the computer, the ramp, uh, it's going to look like this, okay, and we're trying to figure out this angle, okay, so the tangent of theta, which is this angle, this is theta, is equal to the opposite side, 0.19, over the adjacent side, which is 1, okay, so the tangent of that angle, let's see, 0.19 divided by 1 equals second tangent. That's 10.7 degrees right there. Or, excuse me, 10.8 degrees. All right? So what would the acceleration down this ramp be? Okay. If I put a baseball here and I let it go, and it starts from a velocity of zero at the top, then it would start accelerating at this rate. The sine of 10.8 times 9.8 meters per second per second. All right, 10.8 sine times 9.8 gives me 1.83. It's going to accelerate at 1.83 meters per second per second. Now, just for fun, let's draw this thing the other way. Let's draw the ramp straight up and down. Boop. And there it is. There's the whole ramp. Boom. What's the angle for the ramp? That angle is going to be 90 degrees. 90 degrees. If I take the ball and I put it up here and I try to roll it down the ramp, it's just falling straight down. The sine of 90 times 9.8 meters per second per second gives me 9.8 meters per second per second. So long story short, the sine of the angle times 9.8 meters per second per second gives you the acceleration down a ramp. As long as there's no friction. In normal years, we would do friction, but this is a crazy year, so we're skipping it. All right, let's do a fun problem with this. Bip, all right. I've got a ramp here, okay? I'm going to make this ramp at 35 degrees. So this is a 35-degree ramp, and I'll put a, a ball on top of it, okay? And its velocity is zero at the top, and then I let go of it. It starts to accelerate down the ramp, okay? What is the acceleration down the ramp? It is the sine of 35 degrees times 9.8 meters per second per second. Let's try that real quick. Uh, 35 sine times 9.8 gives me uh, 5.6. 5.6 meters per second per second. That's your acceleration down the ramp. So how fast would this ball be going if I let it roll, okay? It rolls down the ramp for two seconds. How fast would it be going? Well, very simply, uh, it would be going, it's accelerating at 5.6 meters per second, and it does that two times. 
or it does that for two seconds, right? Doesn't 5.6 meters per second per second mean we would increase our velocity 5.6 meters per second how many seconds? Two times. So after two seconds, its speed would be 11.2 meters per second. I'm going to give you some simple problems like that. And good luck, and they are easy. Okay? And you have a big quiz coming up tomorrow. Okay? I'll assign it tomorrow afternoon. Please contact me in any way possible if you have any questions. Please be online at 1.30. Please be online at 1.30 every day. If you want to talk to me or have any questions, peace out from the Dirt Bike Shed.